Now that we're ready to search for a hotel, we begin by selecting Command Helper. Once you click that, you'll see these options down here, uh, you'll, and you'll be selecting Hotel. When searching for a hotel, there's two ways to search. One is by location, and one is by property number. Uh, one thing to take note about property number, each property does have a designated ID number. It is a good idea when providing a hotel quotation to provide that ID number. That way, if they come back to you selecting, let's say, for example, option one, you can put in that property number, type in the dates, and then hit shop hotels. And you can go ahead directly to that property uh, and provide the updated rate without having to search for the property again. So this is a very good tool to have. Before you can do that, however, you'll need to do a general search, and that is by this option here. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and search Washington, D.C. As you see, whenever you type in a city, they're going to give you the options for the airports. So you've got uh, Dulles here and Reagan here, but we're going to go uh, metropolitan area here. And then you do in the check-in dates. So we'll go ahead and pick the 24th. You can either select the total nights and the dates will automatically adjust. Or, for example, you can select the date and then the number will adjust. Uh, next is the guest per room. This is based on the total adults per room. It's very important um, that you indicate the proper amount of adults in a room. If you do this incorrectly, um, and you, let's say, indicate one guest in a room, um, really there is two, uh, you, the client may be charged for an additional person. This is less likely to happen in North America, but definitely uh, likely to happen in uh, other parts of the world. So just be mindful and make sure that you have the correct guests per room. Uh, the next field is going to be your chain code. Uh, every hotel is designated a chain code. Uh, there are certain chains that we're very familiar with. For example, Marriott is MC. So if you'd like that, you could do MC. Uh, Hilton Honors is HH. And let's just say Hyatt. What I'm asking here is that the system is going to come back to me with hotels that are Marriott, Hilton, and Hyatt only. This will remove all other chains um, from this search. Go, go ahead and remove that for now. The next is a uh, property name. If you have a specific property, go ahead and just place that name in here. The next field is client ID. This is where we can load the preferential rates already loaded in GDS. So ABC Premier Hotels is one of the programs that we are able to offer. So you would type in ABC in the tab. Uh, the next would be AOM is another special rate code that they have. AB2 is another, and then Virtuoso's um, special rate code is API. When you have these any of these fields in here, we're specifically asking them to give us these special rates to make sure to display hotels with these rates. From here, we can search for the hotels and it'll give us a broad idea of all the hotels available using these special rate codes. If you have a specific hotel that you have in mind, it is a good idea to use the advanced qualifiers. Uh, this will narrow down the search, for example, postal code or zip code. If you have a specific hotel you're looking for, enter in the zip code of that hotel. This will give us a result of all the hotels in the zip code. So this is a great way to narrow down a specific hotel. Additionally, you can also indicate the crown rating. So do you need a three, four, or five star property? This is a good way to weed out the properties that you know they don't want. Example, you know, the one, two star motels out there. So if you know they're not going to be interested in that, why don't you go ahead and use this qualifier to make sure those, aren't, those options are not provided to you. For now, I'm going to actually remove the qualifiers. I'm going to go with just a general search. Now that we have the information in front of us, allow me to go through the different fields uh, from the top. Uh, it's just confirming that we're looking for hotels in Washington, D.C. from the 24th to the 31st of August for seven nights. The next is the hotel name uh, and then the address. Uh, the following field is miles, six miles south 
of Washington, D.C. One thing to keep in mind is if we had entered in an airport code, this property would have been six miles from the airport. Uh, the next field is the amenities. So they have just a quick uh, brief overview of the different amenities available. Uh, and then here you'll see ABC, which is the rate code that we're looking for. This is the star rating of the property. So this uh, property is a four star, uh, the Willard Intercontinental five, and then we've got ones that are two. So if you know that they didn't want a two star property, we could have used that qualifier to remove these two stars. Um, and then over here is the price range. It's 167 to $289 per night for this room based on the dates that we provided. The next two available to you are these three up here. Uh, the first is the map view. So if you click on this, it's going to indicate where the properties are on the map. Uh, there's two ways to do this. Uh, you can either click on the name of the property. So you can go here and go, oh, you know, I like this hotel. Where is it? And it'll show you where that hotel is. And it'll zoom in to where the property is. Otherwise, you can go ahead and look at the screen and select the different options available. And then over, it will highlight the information. And so if you don't see it here, for example, this one, you didn't see a highlight, um, you could actually just hit the room rates to look into that property. Okay, so to get out of here, you just hit close. So this is a great way if someone is not quite sure where they want, or you have a specific area, not a specific hotel, but a specific area, you can go ahead and look on the map and see what properties are there. Uh, the next is filter. Um, so from here, you'll have uh, hotel chains. So we see that there are actually 34 hotel chain options for us here. If you hit more, you can see all the hotel chains. Um, so you can indicate which one. So let's just say, oh, I only want Hampton Inns and MB Hilton's and Embassy Suites. It'll tell us those properties. But for now, we'll just hit all. Uh, if you have a specific uh, amenity that the person is looking for, uh, let's just say, you know, they want a property that has a, um, a gym. Uh, fitness centers. So you, 31 of them have fitness centers. So you can be very specific if they have an amenity that they're looking for. Like, for example, pool. So here you go. Uh, so I'll just unclick that and then you can lower it by hitting less. Uh, from here, the nightly room rate. Right now, it's a wide spectrum, uh, 79 up to $10,845 a night. Uh, so if you know that they want to not spend so much money and you want options only under a certain dollar amount, you can slide this bar based on the dollar amount that you're looking for. Um, under miles, meaning distance from downtown. So this is, we're looking at Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Uh, they don't want to be more than, let's say, two miles from downtown. You can slide this scale. Client ID. Client ID. This is the, the rate codes that we had loaded. So here we've got 31 properties with ABC, 10 with AOM and two with, I'm um, sorry, three with API. So if you're looking for a virtuoso only, you hit this, and then when you hit apply, it will show you uh, the three properties that have the API rate loaded. Now, in order to go back and show more, you just come back over the sort, or not sort, I apologize, uh, filter and hit reset and apply, and then it'll show all the hotels again. And then lastly, here you obviously are your crown ratings. Uh, so we can now remove those two stars. Let's just say they want three stars. No information provided means hotels that don't load the rating into the GDS. It doesn't necessarily mean they don't have a rating. It just means they didn't take the time to load it in the GDS. So you can remove that as well if you want to know for sure and offer only um, four and five star properties. And then you'd hit apply. And here we go. Now we've got our own four and five stars. So go back to rating, reset all, apply, and then now we have all of our properties again. And finally, <clears throat> under sort, you can sort by property name, distance, chain code, crown ID. Um, I don't typically use this button all that much, but that's okay. So here we go. So now we have all the information um, and how to read uh, from left to right. Now let's look into the actual hotel. So I'm just going to pick the Hyatt Regency Crystal City here. So if you want to look into this hotel and look further of the details, you're going to go ahead and hit this arrow down. 
here you'll see the basic information. Uh, so here's the chain code, HY. This is the property ID I was referring to. Uh, make sure to keep that number into your quote. Uh, that way, if they decide that they want to go back to the higher Regency, you can avoid doing all these steps to get all these hotels by going into uh, the property number search that you would put 984 right here, put the new dates that you wanted, and then you would have just this hotel. Uh, the next is the phone number, uh, and then, of course, the fax. Now, if you'd like uh, more details on the property, you can go ahead and hit property details. This is a really good field where you can go ahead and have a look at all the details of the property. So um, if you're looking for transportation, what's around there. Now, once you have that information, you can go to the top of the screen and it'll give you this table of contents again. So if we go to cancellation policy, you can read up on the cancellation policy and go back to the top. And to get out, you hit close again. If you want to have a better look at the property um, images, you can kind of you know scan through uh, to see what the property looks like. Um, one thing to note, however, um, you know, I'm, you're pretty much safe with chain properties. If you're looking at properties that you're not very familiar with or not part of a chain, these photos are always going to show the best photos of the property. So it's not going to be a real good um, indication of the the quality of the property at this time. So I would recommend, of course, going to like a TripAdvisor to see what other people are saying about the property currently before recommending one. Uh, the next is the amenities. So this property has 24 amenities. Uh, you can see kind of an idea of what is available for you here. Now that we have this information, now we want to know how much is this property really for these dates? So we're going to go under view rates. Once you select view rates, Sabre will come back to you with all the room rates available for this hotel on the dates selected. So as you can see, there are 30 different rates available. So we'll just start with the top. Now the first rate is the member rate king bed. And underneath it will show you the room view. So this is a city airport view. The next field will show you the rate code. So this is under the ABC rate code that we looked up. The next field will tell you uh, the form of payment. This room rate requires a guarantee with credit card. To make the reservation. Um, it does have a cancellation policy of 24 hours prior to arrival. The next field shows you the daily rate. Uh, this is USD 116.62 per night. Keep in mind the amount will always reflect the local currency. And finally, this is the estimated total after taxes. Now let's say, say you want to go further into the rate. You just click this arrow and then it does give you some brief overview here. But what you'd like to do is then go to full rate details. The first is the room description. Room description shows you the room type, the room view. Now, uh, so it is a city airport view room. It does it typically uh, tell you the bedding. However, the bedding is not highlighted in here. And that is most likely because the bedding is in the title. Uh, but if it wasn't, it would be located here. The next is room rate policies. So it highlights the cancellation, the payment type, which is guarantee in checking and checkout time. Uh, next is the price information. This will give you the, an overview of the total cost and uh, the breakdown of the nightly rate. If there are any additional fees, it'll tell you right here. Uh, lastly is the classic HRD response. Had we selected uh, the classic styling, this is how it would look when we, uh, when we got the information. Uh, but because we have graphical, it is quite a bit easier to read, as you can see. When all sudden done and you are ready to book, you would then select book here. However, we're not quite ready to book yet, uh, but we'll go over that on the next lesson.